Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I'm going to try to record this video once and only once. This is going to be a different way of me recording. I'm going to use my GoPro as my mic because I feel like since you guys are on the camera, you guys are probably a little bit too far for me to like actually, for you guys to actually hear me and hear what I'm saying. So I'm going to have this GoPro right here the whole time and hopefully the audio is pretty decent. If not, I could try to make it the best I can. But yeah. So this video today is going to be talking about how to make X amount of horsepower on your 9th Gen SI. Um, all motor, head swap, force induction, turbo, supercharger, all that stuff. I'm going to try to elaborate more so you guys can like understand um, certain things that need to be done for you to make this type of power. Um, right now, I am full bolt on the 85, make like two, 225 or something like that around that range um so these are for the people who's just trying to like have a nice daily driver and trying to make 200 horsepower 215 this is for you guys i actually have stuff ran down my notes so i can actually talk and actually sound intelligent instead of just rambling on and not knowing what the hell i'm saying but yeah if you're trying to make like 200 or 215 because you guys do know the motor at crank is two 201 that's not to the wheels so to the wheels i think it's like 180 1, 185 190 around that range so yeah stock knife gens are pretty damn slow so don't be thinking that you're fast but uh if you want to make 200 what you guys could do you're gonna you're you need to get some type of tuning device so honda k tuner something that your tuner could tune your car with most people go with honda flash pro because is more known and there's more features you could do on it rather than using k-tuner which is limited to a lot of things um i used to be okay i used to be on k-tuner and i couldn't do much plus i got a random check engine light for ep that was disabled and it kept popping up so they never put a patch out for that on like on data which they they put a patch out for that and they have more tuning stuff you could do to your car um if you was to go boost or if you're planning on to go boost, I recommend you going full, I said full bolt I recommend you going with Flash Pro rather than K-Tuner because K-Tuner, they don't have a boost cut. They don't have certain things that Honda does. And you know, if you're going to boost and you're going to go K-Tuner, you're going to be stuck at a certain boost level. But I understand if you're going to go like Superchargers, that'd probably be beneficial to you to use K-Tuner because it's cheaper. But to be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend my money just to do that. After you do get your K-Tuner or your Honda, the best thing for you to do is get a three inch downpipe. Any three inch downpipe will be good. Catted, non-catted, doesn't matter. You make more help, you make more horsepower with a non-catted one and you make less horsepower with a catted one. But yeah, anything that's three inches is what you need. Um, after that, a 3.5 inch intake, a uh, short ram. It could be like one of mine's. Well, mine's actually functional because the headlight helps a lot with the air. But yeah, you could have a three inch uh, short ram or you got have a cold air which goes into your fender uh, only reason why I, only reason why I didn't get one of those is because I do live in South Florida and if you do live in South Florida you guys know how bad it rains and how deep puddles get and some puddles don't look deep until you drive I, like you actually drive through them so that's why I got this intake you guys are probably like you talking about rain bro you talking about rain but you got this headlight yeah rain don't really affect me too much driving with this headlight i sometimes do get a rag and i stick it in there so wherever rain goes through hits the rag and sometimes i uh I, I position my intake a little bit different and yeah no rain actually touches the intake but yeah doing those two mods or three mods should get you in the 200 to the 215 horsepower range um if you have a good tuner they'll most definitely be able to get you around that angle around that angle around that range um now these are for the people who want to make a little bit more make like 215 and up like 215 to 230 range well what i recommend you to do is get a three inch down pipe a three and a half inch coder intake or short run intake like mine rbc of course or you get a port match a port match rbc and bigger injectors bigger throttle body e85 optional all that stuff but uh yeah i did before i was e85 i did have uh rdx injectors which are four tens right now i'm on five 550s and uh yeah with 410 i was running 93 i don't think you're able to run 85 with 410 cc injectors but i don't know i never tried it uh if you do want to go 85 i recommend you do get some bigger injectors 550s are really good i think my max duty cycle right now is like 80 percent which is 
where you should really want to be you want to be higher than 80 percent a lot of people don't want to be higher than 90 but i think i'm like 85 and that's that's where i feel comfortable at so so now if you're trying to make 240 to 280 um that's going to be a little bit different a little harder for you to make because these cars are not really high flowing like the head really isn't good it's like a bottleneck type of head system i guess you could say um i recommend you if you do want to stay all motor and all that stuff to swap the head get a z3 head or an a2 head a k24 a2 head or a k20 z3 head because if you guys didn't know these motors they're not dual VTEC. there's only one side and i believe it's the intake side not the exhaust side so if you do that head swap you could make 240 you can make a little bit more than 240 actually and if you include some cams some built uh, valve train built heads yada 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 you can make close to 280 270 and that's actually pretty nice for all motor k-series car only thing that sucks is that our car is kind of heavy so you do have to i thought my video stopped you do have to like make the car feel a little bit lighter but no i'm not gonna lie 280 i drifted in a car i made 260 and it made it, it felt felt amazing bro it felt really really damn good now this this could be the same thing for the 230 range you could well not the same thing as the 230 range but the same models that you do for the 230 range the 215 blah 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 it'd be the same thing you do for the 280 to the two i mean the 240 to the 280 range um you also could well i recommend you to upgrade your fuel pump uh you're gonna need some new headers because the downpipe is not going to work with a A2 head or A3 head or K20 Z3 head. It's not going to work with one of those. So you will need to find some headers. I've seen people use K-Tune. I think it was K-Tune headers. And uh, I, they said it worked. They just had to beat it up. I've seen people use Skunk 2 headers from the Ave Gen. And I've seen some people use these, these expensive headers. It's like 1800 or something like that, bro. They're expensive. I think it's like high-tech high, high exhaust or high-tech something. But yeah, those are expensive. You can use those if you do want to do that route. Also, if you don't want to head swap, you could just go nitrous. A lot of people I've seen go nitrous and they make 300, 280. Well, just a, I don't really know too much about nitrous, but I, I see people do like 50 shots, 75 shots and make around that range. So you also could do that if you want. Um, a lot of people say don't go over 100. I don't know why, but a lot of people say not to do that. So if they say not to do it, bro, I'm just not going to do it. So yeah. Um, you're gonna need up your injectors. I recommend you guys to get a thousand cc injectors. A thousand cc and up will be enough for what you're trying to do. Um, I think on top, a thousand cc injectors and 93, you can make like four to 500, something like that. I don't really know too much about that, but I know you can make a good range. It's like four to 450 or something like that. And then on E85, you won't be able to make over four. I think you'd be under four. Now, this is for the people who wanna make 300 to 350 which is what I'm trying to make on stock motor. I recommend you to go nitrous, turbo, or supercharger. If you're gonna go nitrous, I recommend you building the block or just the head in general, cause I feel like nitrous is just like crazy, bro. I don't know, I, I'm scared to use nitrous. Um, it's actually pretty, pretty damn aggressive when you do do it though, cause I've seen videos of people spraying and man, those cars move. And you want to think that car make 350 or 400 horsepower, you think it made like six or five, something like that, bro. Like the same setup that you do for your 240 to your 280 range will be very similar to what you'll do on your 300 to 350. Um, upgraded everything, upgraded pump, upgraded injectors. Um, now, if you do have that bigger throttle body, I think you should go back to stock, honestly, because it doesn't really help you at that point um what else can you do yeah that's really it bro if you really want to make that power i recommend you just go and boost to be honest it's easier and to me safer all right so this is for the guys who want to make 400 to 450. um once you hit that 400 mark i will recommend you to build your, your gearbox a lot of people say like after you hit 400 horsepower that's when you start having transmission issues I've seen people make 450 on stock trans and the trans lasts for a little bit. And I've seen people make 450 on stock trans and the trans blows up like right after. So it just depends on how your trans is and how you beat on your car basically. Um, I also will recommend you to upgrade your injectors here again. A thousand cc's will do good, but if you're going to go 85, you're going to need more fuel to make 450. You can also throw nitrous at the car, but I wouldn't recommend doing it 
unless I have a head swap motor and the motor is built, like the head's built and all that stuff, then I throw some nitrous at it. Uh, if it's a stock block and stock head, and yeah, I wouldn't recommend you throwing nitrous at the car because it's definitely going to just kaboof on you one day. Um, now, this is for the 500 to the 550 range. Uh, for me, I don't know when I'm going to get to that range, but I do know from like seeing people builds and hearing people's stories and actually experiencing that a 500 horsepower knife gen. It's time for you to start getting a fuel return, especially if you're actually even in the 400 to the 450 range. If you're going to be on E85, it's time for you to get a fuel return because you're not going to even be able to make 450 on E85 because you're going to run out of fuel. No matter how big your injectors are, you're still going to run out of fuel. All right, so this is for the guys who want to make 500 to 550. I recommend you guys to start actually saving that money to get a, a built block because this is where you start pushing it, to be honest. Um, 500, I believe, is the safe limit on a 9th gen motor, and anything above that is just like... Yeehaw, you feel me? It's gonna, something's gonna happen. You're gonna blow the motor. All right, guys, so this is from off the video. It's a quick little video explaining how to make this amount of power or X amount of power on your 9th gen SI. Hopefully, you guys learned something new today. Um, I know it wasn't as deep as it needed to be, but I just wanted to skim over things so you guys, you know, can know something about your car. And if you want to make a certain type of power, how to make it. So, yeah, man, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram, my underscore got soda. Call something from my site, zubigarage.bigcartel.com. And yeah, man, show some love. Your boy's out. Peace.